In just six hours, a special Miami-Dade School Board meeting will get underway on the agenda, what some consider a controversial curriculum. It comes a week after the board rejected two approved sex ed textbooks. Yeah, so what's left now? Well, thousands of students without sex education curriculums. CBS 4's Nicole Lauren is live at the school board building in Miami, and Nicole, this curriculum is required by state law. Yeah, that's right, Keith Maribel. Good morning. And as you just said, Keith, no approved textbook therefore means no curriculum. Now, they did approve this textbook back in April, but after so much backlash from parents, they decided last week to remove the textbook in a vote that was five to four. Now, we heard from one mother who's actually for this textbook. She says it should not be removed and actually signed a petition to keep it. Students in the Miami-Dade County Public Schools have now had their choice taken away entirely. They don't have access to this information. Gina's son Lorenzo is a senior and is also for these textbooks staying in place. But other parents do not have the same opinion, voicing serious concerns over the material in the book, including gender identity, emergency contraception, and pregnancy. Now today the board is holding a special meeting to discuss whether the district's decision does comply with the state's health and reproductive education requirements. Now if they do not revisit this, I believe Keith just touched on this. They're not going to have this textbook for at least eight months because they're going to have to restart this entire process looking for new material all over again. We're live in downtown Miami. Nicole Lauren, CBS4 This Morning.